What's up guys? Today I will try to clean the interior of the car, meaning uh, washing the carpet and the seats. And I will also replace the reservoir for the cooling system finally because it's been way too long um, that I've been putting this away. As you can see, I'm here, so let's get things in the motion. That ain't good. So I've, unfortunately I got wrong by light bulbs. The regulator. Yeah. Now the cooling system reservoir. Um, it's a matter of just unplugging everything, draining it and changing the reservoir. I'll send it right here. I was beat again by the cooling system reservoir, which happened to be in a deep need of replacement. Wait a second. Because somebody figured that putting the silicone over any damage that it had is a very good solution to the problem that it had. Right here. Whoa. That line is a crack. He glued basically everything together. Every plug, every um, hose, everything was glued. So it took forever to just rip it apart. And I I'm not able to wash the car today. I have to do it tomorrow. Bummer. You never know how much you're gonna be able to do with a car. When it's day two and today, I will wash the carpet and the seats in the car. I also, well, I also remembered finally to get the multimeter. So if I have enough time, I'll check that fuel um, level stuff. Before I start washing the carpet, I'll take the seats out to ensure that I do it always also under the seats because the, the carpet is disgusting, just take a look. I might even uh, take the middle console out from the car to just clean it outside in the bucket or something because it, it is also quite dirty and since I'm doing it, I want to do it right.
dirt doesn't want to come out that easy. Um, I think it's the dirtiest car I have ever actually washed. It's pretty bad, so it's gonna take a while. Still not perfect, but close enough. Right now, I'll take care of the other seat. Okay, um, it's getting late, it's dark. I need a light so you could see me. But what I wanted to show you doing that is that you don't need a fancy expensive equipment. What you need is a brush, a washing fluid and a vacuum cleaner that can suck water. <clears throat> That's This is the third day I'm working on the interior of this car. I want to show you what came out of the seats because the driver's seat well the side of it needs more cleaning right here you can see the brown dirt that needs to be cleaned again That was hard. Uh, I didn't actually clean it as I would like to, but it has to be enough because I don't have the right equipment. Let's put those seats back in. I'll take care of other stuff right now, like bleed coolant. I'm bleeding the coolant in the BMW is pretty easy. You simply unscrew two bleeding valves here is one bleeding valve and here's the other you just unscrew both of them and fill the system when the water comes out you just screw it screw it in and that's it the reservoir is like keeping some level so it's time to start up the car and let it run through the water pump then we will have a bleeding process starting so i have to connect the, the battery terminal right here <laughs> um, it's done finally I, I could actually drive it right now I'm just gonna drive it out to have more light and then I'll try to finally check this um, fuel pump level So it works fairly easy, you just put your multimeter into ohms, touch the leads that actually are responsible for 
the fuel level flow and check if it changes that's it problem is that this right here and right here should touch partly this and partly this and i don't know if you can see it but it doesn't touch them at all it does work when it's pushed but right now it's like free floating right now i need to figure out how to fix that problem because those leaves that should touch like it touches my neck it goes like this when you push it it works but you have to push it you won't do it in the fuel tank so it won't work I took the pliers and I uh, kind of bented the wire and no. uh, bented that a bit more. Shh, the mosquito, sorry. Right, so it pushes more onto the, the sensors and that solved the issue. So let's put that into the fuel tank, see if it works and hopefully it does. No, still doesn't work. I tried it once again, so crossed fingers. Yeah. On that note, I'll end it here. Stay hydrated, dry safe, buckle up, and subscribe if you want to. Bye.